everyone, Bethany here with Atlantic Flag and Pole. The countdown is on. We are only a week away from election day. And um, at our house, we've been, you know, talking about with the kids, because we homeschool, of course, um, and we've been talking a lot about our civic duties and uh, what it means to vote and how important that is and what sacrifices many others have had to make in order for us to have that right and just, you know, who we are as a country and how we, we began um, this year in our uh, work class school conversation, homeschoolers. If you don't know what that is, feel free to look it up. Um, but it's just a different type of, of education. It, it follows a classical model. But anyway, um, this year for the cycle that we're in, um, history is all about uh, American history. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. Last year we were learning world history and uh, just being able to kind of go through all of that with the kids has been very, very exciting. But anyway, that wasn't actually what I was planning to talk to you about. Um, I want to hear your thoughts. You know, who do you think is going to win the next, um, you know, presidential election? Who is going to win? Um, if you follow certain news outlets, you would be, you would be thinking that Biden is going to win. Um, but then if you're watching things like, you know, uh, Trump rallies and, and all of that, then it's kind of hard to imagine him losing just with how popular he seems to be. And I'm reminded of, of what happened in 2016. Like, I wasn't any level of shocked when he won. Um, and yet, I just remember people that I knew that weren't expecting him to win were just completely baffled and, and many people devastated. And I just remember thinking, well, have you been watching his rallies? Have you been watching the support that he gets? They did the same thing back with um, Ron Paul. Um, I was a huge Ron Paul supporter back in the day. Uh, huge. I really loved a lot of, you know, his policies and his ideas on things. And um, it struck that kind of more libertarian chord in me, even though I'm a registered Republican. And everyone just kept saying, uh, you know, in the news, oh, he's not... He's not electable. Um, he, you know, he can't get the Republican um, nomination because he would never, he'd never make it. He'd never get elected. And I think they kind of did the same thing with Bernie Sanders. Um, and yet, both had huge followings. Ron Paul had a huge following, um, and many of them were on college campuses. He had a lot of younger people, which is very interesting. But anyway, um, who do you think is going to win? Um, I think. Donald Trump is going to get uh, voted in for a second term. Uh, of course, I hope he does. It's no secret that I'm a Trump supporter. Um, but I also think that he's going to win. Um, but, you know, we'll find out. I did want to mention one more thing, and then uh, feel free to comment and, and um, share your thoughts below. But my husband and I were reading a few articles that, um, I guess, after the last debate, um, one of the most Googled phrases, um, or I guess it was the, the most Googled phrase after the debate was, can I change my vote? Uh, many of which were Googlers from Pennsylvania. And um, it, it would seem, just at least at first thought, um, that that's really more of a strike against Biden and his campaign because there's nothing about that debate that would, you know, cause a Pennsylvania citizen who did vote for Trump to then after that debate be like, oh, wait a minute, I don't think I want to vote for him. Um, whereas, you know, we know there's the whole oil thing and then the fracking and Biden even said, go ahead, post it, post that tape because, you know, we all use tapes. Although I guess um, some of the cameras still do now that I think about it. But um, post on your website, which of course the Trump campaign did. Um, so I think the whole fracking and oil thing did not um, sit well with uh, many people who really rely on, on that industry for their livelihood and, um, you know, the economic state of their, of where they live. Um, but anyway, so I thought that was very interesting and I'm just kind of curious to see what happens. And that was a question, actually, I had no idea uh, what the answer was to that. Can you change your vote after you've mailed it in? Apparently. It seems like um, you can with certain states. Uh, that's my understanding of it, but not something I've spent much time researching. So anyway, um, feel free to share your thoughts below. We're one week out, and I'm curious to see what your thoughts are and who you think is going to win. Make your predictions, and uh, let's stay civil, and let's be respectful of one another, and let the excitement begin. <laughs>